Hello and welcome to Silver Town. I will begin with this. Get my thoughts, comments, and criticism. So all screen music is pretty badass. I would comment on the window skin, but I'm going to presume that is a placeholder. Entry and available is spelled wrong. What? It is a bit awkward how you start me off like that, with no real intro or anything. But like I said, this is an early build. I'm just pointing it out for the sake of pointing it out. Cheap labor, comma, making extraction. So it would make it flow a little bit better in my opinion. Either Comic-Con is a typo, or you're being really obscure with your language. This is a cool event, but I recommend putting something on this tile that obscures the top of this door, so it looks more elegant, because you know when I keep doing this animation, it... If you, if you look at... if you look like right here, it's quite awkward. Also, I can do this. You can fix that by making it... by making my character walk automatically through it. But, that's up to you. That, or make sure the door doesn't close on me until I leave this area right here. Some here isn't a word. Small cutoff. I know someone already pointed that out, but I might as well say it too. The waterfall effect you're going for is pretty cool, but I recommend getting rid of that. You see the- you see those little lines when the waterfall hits the supposed water? I would remove that. So it kinda insinuates that the waterfall is going underground of some sort. That would look pretty cool and crafty. You can probably do that because I know you have Photoshop. And this is just pretty terrible. I think you either want to experiment with the shift key to fix that, because the shift key allows you to copy and paste tiles, or you could just get rid of that altogether or add some more space around that. Either way, you can't have it like that. It looks way too bad. Why is there no face set? You're telling, not showing. Please, allow me to explore and talk to NPCs. I will know when they're racist. Consider using parentheses or highlighting the text in a different color when Edmund is talking to himself, because it makes it sound as though he's talking out loud, which is kind of awkward. Either add a comment before Emmett or after Emmett, because a full sentence like that is pretty awkward. That's awfully blunt, especially for a town that's full of racists. Emmett's frown is comical, but I think you might want to add an extra one that isn't so out there, because it kind of breaks a serious moment to a certain extent, or semi-serious moment. I love how terrified you make this guy look, but there's a small pixel on the top of the face set. That's pretty, uh, bad. I don't remember Emmett receiving glasses. I believe there's a tile set that puts an extra tile right here to make this look a tad more elegant, because when it's just in the hallway like this, it's very noticeable and kind of awkward. I recommend lowering the opacity of these little talk icons. They're a neat idea, but they kind of get in the way of the map and make the map look bad. This little book right here is kind of useless because this sentence right here is kind of boring. Maybe spruce it up a little bit, make it sound a bit more religious, I guess, or just get rid of it entirely because it isn't helping the world. I would get rid of the apostrophe because when you add an apostrophe, you're basically making it sound like it is. And it doesn't sound that good when found the sacred armor will rekindle it is power. This dialogue box doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So first she tells me not to interrupt her and then she's like, here, I forgot something. There's no O or a wait or something of that sort. It's like she's schizophrenic. Don't know how I feel about Emmett saying this. I mean, I know it makes sense, but meh. I mean, like I said, I, I don't know if this game is supposed to be taken seriously or not, but meh. Also, he grew his glasses back again. Though I will say that if you had multiple choices that allowed me to say this, I would be perfectly okay with that, because usually multiple choices has those funny remarks you can give to other player characters or NPCs and whatnot. Another typo. Also, the butterfly went through the door on the last clip I showed, and he's doing it right now. You're gonna have to... Well. There is a script by Yinfly. Let me go find out what it's named. Okay, Yinfly Region Lock. Go Google that, add it to your game, and what it does is... You have these regions in RPG Maker VXs. You put down one, and then go to the map, and you can put down a script command. NPCs cannot walk on region one, or player characters cannot walk on region blah blah blah, whatever. And this allows you to control where certain NPCs can walk without putting events on the ground that get that get in the way and whatnot. It's a good way to control 
char NPC characters so they don't bug out. After work, this guard's gonna go to the pub and drink refreshment. Drink refreshment! Okay, I'm just not gonna take this game seriously at this point. Okay, I'm just not gonna take the narrative that seriously at this point. And this isn't exactly funny in my opinion, but whatever. This sentence feels a bit awkward, but that might just be a man. Of all this cutoff. So apparently Laura Jorah has no problem having some little girl talk about how he's kissing another guy in public, but has to comment on this girl eating so much candy that she'll evolve as a guy. A lot is in a single word. This service cost depends on the item being- I should comment that if I sound a bit rude, sorry, I just try to add a little bit of humor every once in a while and not be so completely, totally, super awesome ultra serious. No ill intentions, of course. I need this item in my life. Um, I think you messed up on the message box. Are these items supposed to be zero G? Awkward text overlap. Huh? What? Um, okay. Chickens apparently can talk in this world, guys. Oh my god, this place is full of people. How long have I been playing? I've been playing for 42 minutes and haven't left the first town, guys. And that's because I've been nitpicking all this entire time. I might have to cut down a little bit uh, in the future because I want to finish this by the end of today. <laughs> feels so uncanny for some random woman to say this to a beast man lion dude who can sometimes look very terrifying. I want to get a half orc in my party. Is that his name? Gold? Uh, shouldn't it be Kobold or Half Kobold or some of that sort? Gold? He never even told me his name. There is a script that fixes those boxes if they keep popping up in your dialogue boxes. You're gonna have to google it though. Add an apostrophe after the N so we know you spelled lying correctly. Now I hope you implement choices or a choice system because I just want to punch this guy for using that pun. I mean seriously, what does he think he is, Teddy? Then again, his sprite is way too adorable compared to his portrait. Why can't I walk below this tile right here? What is up with these doors? Why are they so freaking small? This is a bit awkward of an animation, but meh. There's an awkward pixel going on here. Cut off. A lot, comma, Emmett. Also, you spelled a lot correctly here. Whoa. Apparently, all the maids in this freaking inn must clean everything. I believe this is the text cut off. I know what type of joke you are going for with this fairy, but you could have been a little bit, I don't know, ambitious. These statues are actually really cool. Don't know if you edit them or not. I know you edit some of your stuff. Emmett is nothing without his cleese. Guys, he is nothing without his cleese. Why is there no face set for this entire thing? Why can't I step on these candles? But it's a pretty nice slide effect, all things considered. Though this cathedral is ridiculous in size, I mean, look at this place, holy shit. But this is a pretty cool building. I'm almost certain you took this out of the overlay tile set it came with, and you put it into the editor of some sort. It's not bad. Though I know you've been experimenting with some overlays, so it might be that. Eh. I mean, it does look a little bit flat when you consider how big it is and how it's just like sitting there in all this room right here. I don't know, I feel as though it could go out a little bit larger just to give it a little bit more, I don't know, feeling. <laughs> Why are half of their bodies going through the floor or table? Thinking about this some more, I really wish you could have made Emmett a little bit more witty instead of him being a complete perv, but whatever. So when it comes to ellipses, I tend to add a space after the after the dot dot dot, mostly because when I throw it into my natural reader program to see how it sounds, it doesn't say, well, dot dot dot, now that you mentioned it, it says well, and then it pauses now that you mentioned it. I mean, you can do it either way, but I feel as though not only it works better with the natural reader program that I use, but it also just looks better on paper when there's a bit of a space. Of course, like I said, that is an option. In order to deal with corruption or defilement of this magnitude, comma, I'll need a much stronger focus of my divine magic. Though I will say that this little cutscene is pretty witty. Cuthbertians? Also second edition? I'm going to assume that's D&D's second edition. But it is kind of awkward coming from a person who doesn't really play D&D. Human area and beastman area. As a name that would be on a sign, it's kind of awkward. You could probably write something a bit more elegant. It's also worth noting how the sprite of Emmons is a different color of skin slash fur compared to his face set. You could probably change the sprite pretty easily. LOL. 
Why can I enter this door if I can't enter this house, and why can I step on this thing? I guess having a cat as a protagonist really does have its benefits. VX has black slash very, very, very dark blue shadows. This is very light blue, because this tent is from the RPG Maker XP tile set. So what you're going to have to do is put this in Photoshop and take out all the color right here and turn that all black. Map glitch. Map glitch. I'm gonna refrain from talking about this anymore because I know you're working on it. Map glitch. Map glitch. I should be able to walk under this. If this is just a black void, you should tell me why I can't enter this or, so, or something because it's just kind of awkward. You spelled disappointment wrong. Text cut off. I'm doomed forever to spin. I, comma, Cassandra, comma, have spoken. No, comma, really, comma, go, or something of that sort. Adding a pause makes it sound a little bit better when you read it out. And I guess this is the Kingdom Hearts song that other commenter was talking about. It's a really nice song, but you're gonna have to be careful with really popular beats like that, because you, you've been using pretty obscure music and that's good. It's really good to find really obscure music and use it for your game, especially when it's non-commercial. Oh, definitely when it's non-commercial. Mostly because it's not commercial you don't have to worry about copyright, but... Yeah, when you use something too popular, especially with RPG Maker games, I mean, oh my god, back in the day. But I digress. You want to be careful about that. Then again, this is a really nice song. It's up to you. There really should be a shadow right over there. You can add that with a shadow tool. There is one with Ace that allows you to put shadows like this. You forgot the message command to put his name on top of the message box. Text call. This is a pretty interesting feature. So apparently if I cast spells, it takes charges. And I have to recharge my staff, which costs a bit of money. Sort of like Oblivion and Skyrim. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that feature. Never saw it in Arm game before, so it's definitely unique. I should uh, mention something. If you have a random, uh, what you call it, event pop up like this, that's on the ground, keep in mind that the player is holding the shift button most of the time. So... Basically, if I run into an event like this, I'm probably just going to skip through the dialogue like that, because I'm holding the shift key button. Like that, again. So it's like, okay, so there is a... There's two ways you can fix this. One, at, there, there's a Yinfly script that allows you to have an options, and in that options, it gives you a, a thing that allows you to run all the time. You can just press that on and you'll always run, or something of that sort. I forget what it's called. I think it's called System Options. But I would look up Yenfly. Very, very good scripter. Very, very good. But that or add a slash period, which will put a pause in the dialogue just in case the player accidentally goes through it too quickly and, notice it, and notices his mistake and puts, lifts off the shift key button just in time or something of that sort. Because without a pause, the player is probably going to go through a whole lot of dialogue like that. If I couldn't save anywhere, I would be missing out on a lot of shit. Because I'm always holding the shift key. Or you could just get rid of the message script that automatically makes the messages go by quicker when you're holding the shift key button. I believe that's a script, but I know you might not want to get rid of that, so I digress. I know Emmett is a pussycat and all, but seriously, why does he have to comment on the double bed twice? Magazines in a fantasy medieval world. Text cut off. Now I'm going through the dialogue. Now I'm accidentally skipping dialogue by mistake quite a lot, like almost all the time. And I was loading my game a whole lot to fix that and remedy that, but I'm not going to do it anymore because I really want to go through this quickly, quicker. So, uh, yeah, if I skip through some dialogue and don't catch a few typos, it's because of that. You're going to have to fix it so that I can't accidentally skip dialogue because I'm holding a chef key. You really did. Yeah, this is a pretty nice light effect. I, I know someone commented on this. You did a pretty good job with it. There's also another Yenfly script that you might want to look into. It's uh, basically her general bug flix script. It's her Yenfly's engine, I believe it's called. And in Yenfly's engine... There is a toggle animations where you can increase the frame rates of an animation from 20 to 30 or 30 to 40. I want you to increase the animation by about 10 because it makes the animations go by faster. And if the animations are going by faster, the battles are a lot of fun.
a lot more fun. I'm gonna give you an example when I'm fighting this guy. Uh, there isn't a whole lot to these battles, in my opinion. Now, I still have to get used to the battle system, of course. But, and this is the beginning of the game, and he definitely gave me a good amount of spells. But, there are four rats. I'm still have, I still have to conserve my resources to a certain extent. So a lot of this is going to come down to me just make, spamming my normal attack to save everything. And because there are four rats, it's not exactly the most entertaining thing to watch. Thankfully I am one-shotting it to a certain extent, but it doesn't always work. And the, th the animations that are playing right now, you could speed those up by about 40%. And if you speed those up by 40%, your battles are going to be a lot better. Trust me, I'd say this to a lot of people, and a lot of people do it. And a lot of people find that their game becomes amazing at that point. And then they and then they thank me a whole lot. And then I feel awesome too. I don't even know. But seriously, you might want to look into that. Cut off. Actually, I'm going to take back what I said about the normal attack. I am kind of quick to judge a game by how much complexity it has. And I will be honest. Like, I, I find a whole lot of RM games that basically run on normal attack, normal attack, normal attack, all the way to mid to end game, and then you, they start adding some interesting spells. So I'm kind of jaded at this point. But I, I can already see that you're going to be putting a whole lot of effort into new abilities and uh, skills that have to be used and stuff like that for the battles to go by at a reasonable little pace. Or at least I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. But my point still stands on the animations. Look into that script and increase the frames of your animations. Not by 60, that is too much. 40 or 30, whatever one is the, is the highest. It will make your game better. It always does. No one has ever said to me that it made their game worse. And if someone ever does say that to me, I will be legitimately shocked. Should I be standing on this rubble right here? It's also kind of awkward what I'm doing. Like, I don't know if you made this yourself. It looks really custom made, but... That little blackness right there, it doesn't look very good. It doesn't look like an actual wall. Okay, let's look at the walls. You see this wall right here? You kind of want to make the wall right over here. Oh, shit. When I'm going down the stairs, that should look like that. It shouldn't look like the ground tile. Yay! It would be a little bit more elegant if he said, Do not attempt humor again. Please just stand between the monsters and I. As a comment on the story, I came in this expecting a mostly serious story. So that's kind of why I, I sounded a little bit disappointed around a few of the clips. That isn't how it is right now though, I kind of know where the story is supposed to be going. Because as a D&D campaign, I, I, I can kind of understand it. I, I've never played D&D, but I've watched videos on it, and I kind of know the type of humor you can get out of a D&D &D game. So that's cool. But what I'm going to suggest is try to play the beast men racism trope seriously and try to make the plot try to make the player get invested with the plot make it feel serious make it feel realistic don't make it sound like a complete parody and then once you're done doing that add a lot of humor you can make a you can make a really funny story that's built on a very serious storyline you can make a you can have a lot of funny characters uh, in a very, very serious world. It's very possible. You really gotta increase the serious tone at the start and really hook the player into a, a storyline like that. And you gotta be careful with the types of jokes you play and make it be a little bit more elegant, in my opinion. I, I can't really go too much into detail about it without spending hours upon hours playing this game. Even more hours than I'm already playing. How long have I been playing? I'm on the first freaking dungeon. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to calm down on the amount of nitpicks that I find in this game, but uh, yeah, so far, so good. I'm having fun, to a certain extent, but the story does need a little bit of tweaking. Of course, this is alpha, so who knows what will change. Awkward sentence. A lot, typo. Also, you broke the fourth wall again. I, you've been breaking the fourth wall for tutorials, and I can sort of understand that, but this type of fourth wall breaking is kind of weird. I, he, he's at, he might be an IRL player, but I don't know. The game hasn't really told me. So all, all I can all, all all it is really right doing right now is hurting my suspension of disbelief. My reaction to the previous dialogue box. 
What is a nope food? I should comment on the fact that this song I've heard in like two other RPG Maker games, so you might want to be careful about it. You might want to change it. What are you, comma, a pussy? Honestly, I don't think you need to spell it out. Then again, I've played so many RPG Maker games, so I don't know. I like how this boss fight is designed. There was another text caught off in the last message box. I should mention that if we're gonna be in this town a lot since the game is named after it, you're gonna have to do a whole lot more work on the NPCs. Like, I'm talking either, like, really, really flesh them out, give them all a unique personality to a certain extent, and make them all somewhat relevant to a certain part of the story. Don't just make them some joke characters every once in a while. Give them some type of plot, some type of characterization. Make me really like this town. Give it some more personality. Right now, it just feels kinda iffy. I really like the Libra skill and how you implemented it. Good job with the goading on that. Though you might want to consider doing a color highlight, slash color, and then add a number for whatever color you want. You might want to Google that because it's not that easy to find out what types of colors do. What types of commands give you what types of colors unless you look it up online. And there is actually some script, I forgot who made it, that gives you a whole list of different colors. You can even create your own colors to a certain extent. I recommend coloring fire and holy like it's the blah 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 color that. It looks like it's got colored HP and colored MP. It is weak against color fire and color holy. I also like how it gives shade a chance to be a bit witty. Comma humans. Barry just went through that crystal, it was pretty freaking awkward. Tinkerbell exists in this world? Comma Tinkerbell? There's an unneeded pixel on the top of her sprite, the top left. Semicolon between weens and they. I should also comment that I had another message problem. Basically, remember when I was talking about how the message bot would go by too fast if I had my hand on the shift key button? Well, uh... I pretty much have my fingers on the shift key button during these boss fights because I want the text to go by faster because it's just boring watching a whole bunch of numbers go by. So when Williard said something about the boss, it went by in a split second. So whatever he said, it's gone. Hopefully he wasn't freaking preaching the, the word of God or the meaning of life and I missed I also like how this boss fight was designed. I mean, don't get me wrong, these battles are so slow, so is slow as fuck. If you didn't have good boss design, like if there weren't a whole, whole list of skills and the boss didn't have strategy, I would tell you that this is bad because of how slow the bosses are compared to what you can do with the Fly script and faster animations. I mean, seriously, you don't even know how, how better the game will be with that. But... Beca but you really do know how to make good bosses, and I will commend you on that. I also like how the characters are commenting on themselves being hurt. Yay! Actually, now that I think about it, maybe a wall when that's on that staircase isn't exactly needed. It kind of works how it is right now. I mean, it does blend in a little bit too much to the ground tile on the top where I'm standing right now, but eh, I guess it could work. Also, I think you edited the battle back. I don't know if you did or not, but it definitely looked edited. I don't remember seeing that in any other RPG or game, so good job on that. <laughs> that edit. You couldn't speed up the boat when I get into it on this map? Seriously, look how slow it is. Map glitch. There should be another cliff edge right here. You see this right here? You could copy that with the shift key button and just paste it and just paste part of that over here. Or, there's an opposite form of that cliff right there that's looking to the right. Forest? I, don't, I think forest was spelled wrong, but I digress. This right here looks very ugly fixed. Also, getting into the boat removes my run speed increase. There we go. Running fast is good in this game. Just thought I'd mention that... I'm pretty much going to use the level orb just to level up a few times because I don't really want to deal with the random battles right now. Like I said, the battles are very slow and very boring. Even though you have good boss design, you don't, the trash mobs aren't that fun because they take too long to kill and the animations are too slow and it's just not very fun to watch. So, I'll definitely go through them just to see if they have anything special, but after that, I'm done. 
Of course, I won't use the level orb to be over level for the bosses, or at least I'll try not to. Two levels will do it. Okay. This doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. What does this lore-wise? I should also mention that all of the battles that I am fighting can be completed with the auto battle. So, yeah, I, I don't even like auto battle. Like, I think you should just take it out of your game. No one likes Final Fantasy XIII's battle system. That's insane. That likes, that, that knows what strategy means. Okay, that's a little bit mean, but seriously, it's like, auto battle is not healthy for your game. The players should be playing your game, you know what I mean, dude? Why is it just spelled wrong? You also spelled poison wrong here. Why is there no message box? At least something transparent. Another it is type of thing going on here. I should also mention that I, I kind of found a, whole, a few, a couple of other it's that might have been wrong, but I didn't catch them on camera. So it's up to you on whether or not that, that's a problem or not. I, I, I think it's, I personally think it's a typo. I'm almost certain it's a typo, but it's up to you. Oh, I'm so glad you got an AOA. Oh, hey, more custom artwork. I love how this guy is always using his body as in a, as in a form of attack. He's never using his club, guys. Never. You know, it's actually kind of funny because I'm starting to get tired right now. It's probably best for the auto, the computer, to play the game for me because the computer will make educated decisions. As me, I'll just, I'll just spam some of my not as power, not really good idea spells. I, uh, you, you can kind of hear in my voice. I'm really tired at this point. Uh, I'm mostly playing because I, I kind of enjoy playing and I want to get the entire let's try over with. But yeah, this is pr pretty much proving my point why auto battle shouldn't be in any RPG Maker game. Ever. At all. Never. Ever. Ever. It's bad. Always bad. I mean, I know there's going to be a point where I can't complete this battle without, with the, without actually playing the game, but we'll see. Okay, maybe now I would want to play because I I want to probably use an item on him so he doesn't get hurt. Then again, he has a lot of HP. I'll just keep doing this. Yeah, I know I should counter his debuff with my... What's what do you call it? The billiards. But I don't really feel like it. I'm too lazy. I mean look how much healing he's doing. He's doing a good job. Got this shit. Dude, stop using your freaking belly as a weapon. You have a freaking club. What is wrong with you? Yeah, I know you're fat, but holy shit. Unless your freaking stomach is made of steel. <sighs> Whatever. Now we're just being redundant. Stop repeating yourself, you freaking I really hope I don't have to fight that guy again. Well, I know I'm going to have to, but ugh. He's just annoying. Hopefully you give me some new dialogue or something, I mean, come on. Die kitty, die harder, die harder, die kitty, die- I really like the feature where every time I change my main character's equipment, it will change his sprite. That's really nice. I can't wait to see some endgame equipment. Paralyze is spelled wrong. I'm almost tempted just level myself to 99 because I don't really think I can give you any more const constructive criticism. I'm almost certain you tested this correctly to the point where you know the battles are going to go by quickly enough. Like, I, I just don't want to sit here watching the slow battles go by. I really don't have time for that shit. So you know what? Actually, you know what? I'll wait. I'll wait a little bit longer and see what types of challenges this game gives me. I, I won't level up to 99 because I know there's some interesting dialogue that happens in the bosses and I want to read that, but when it comes to normal enemies, no, I'm not doing that shit. I really love this warp spell she's got. Very, very, very convenient. I like the in music. The warp spell changes the screen a bit too fast. Basically, you see how the screen looks all happy and go lucky if I go over here and I warp to the... Is it warp or is it teleport known as warp? The screen doesn't change as quick quickly enough, like the the tone doesn't... You know what I mean. The range should already be there when I teleport. I mean, I don't know. If you wanted to, if you want to sacrifice 
a little bit of bugginess for for it being convenient, okay. But it just looks a little awkward when I could do this. I mean, that's kind of awkward, but whatever. It's it's up to you, of course. I'm still in love with this spell, though. I really do. It is it is it is mighty convenient. That's a pretty awkward little thing right there. That those little edges just looks really weird. I saw this on the other map too. Also, you can see that you can see that layer, that square layer right over there. Very nitpicky. I, I only I only do that because I, I it's like my job to point shit like that out. But I don't know. I must say all the icons are really convenient in this game. Lol. Well, that's blunt. <laughs> I wish it would warn me before a boss. If Forrest was a typo in-game, in-universe, he shouldn't be saying Forrest with an extra R as a character. It doesn't make sense. Map glitch. It's going off the screen. And yeah, my character's a level 99 because all I said about the battles have been said, so I might as well go through them as quickly as possible. My characters don't kill the bosses too quickly, so I should be able to see some of the dialogue. Why is my character facing this direction when he enters this place? Shouldn't he be facing this way? Oops. Shouldn't he be facing this way? The boss disappeared unceremoniously. When you kill a boss, make him disappear slowly. By lower the opacity a little bit each, each frame or what have you. Or just make a slash animation or explode animation and while the animation is going off Use the switch to make it disappear. This shouldn't change change shape when I talk to it looking at this direction. So you have to fix the direction of this item. <laughs> no face set. Cut off. They detest me as an unneeded sentence. I love how she's gorging on that pie over there. You know cast a spell to find its exact location. I swear your face is so ridiculously photoshopped it looks pretty ugly. A lot. Melodrama, especially since the mood of this game is more is more is really on the side of the silly. It's not it's not in that middle ground that I want it to be at, where you're keeping the wit, because some of the dialogue is really fun. It's not really really funny, but is pretty creative. But I want you to find that middle ground, so scenes like this can actually mean something. Right now, I'm just sitting here being like, "Wow, Emmett, you're a bitch." Cause that's just what I'm doing, like, wow, dude. I mean, seriously. I, I know you're risking your life and all, but ugh. I just need some more I just need some more motivation to take this pot seriously without without coming for the lulls, you know what I mean? You're totally not showing. It would be a lot more I don't know, impactful if you actually cut to a small cutscene of her almost getting killed by her father. I mean, you could probably draw that out yourself, dude. Because trust me, that would be a lot more powerful than her being just sitting in this corner looking at a lion dude who's looking out in the distance of her talking about this, you know what I mean? Oh, That almost came out of nowhere, but whatever. Another a lot typo on the last one. A lot dialogue box. Any other time the characters draw my party, th that sound effect wasn't that loud, dude. Okay, well I got a really bad freaking crash. Okay, so I so that wolf dude joined my party. Lord knows why he attacked a fucking child, but whatever. So basically, well this is a good reason for having a shift key button. I can get through this cutscene really quick one. But it's like, okay, so the error I got was game interpreter, I believe. And then it told me a switch. I forgot what I was. I forgot what I said. Optional join party something. It happened right after I right after that whole sound effect thing. Thankfully I'm level 99, so I can kick this guy's ass easy. But fuck if I wasn't. These battles take forever, so if I didn't, if I wasn't level 99, I would be pissed. <laughs> Word of law. And I just will spam Word of Law, because Word of Law is my Law of Law. I'm going to assume you're going to draw a battler for him, since you're already drawing battlers, especially for Beastmen. Because that's your specialty, but whatever. Okay, hopefully it doesn't freeze this time.
It froze. Okay, talk with the noisy woman at the gale. I'm not too sure what the fuck that means. Uh. Well. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Okay. This time I'm going to fight him at a lower level. I'm level 49. Ugh. Ugh. G -g -g -g. Okay. Yeah. I didn't work. S talk with the noisy woman at the gale. Is that, is that the spirit that I talked to or is it someone else? Oh. I, I, oh, never mind. I know who it is. But what is that thing? Anyways, whatever. I think I got a good idea of what you can do to improve the game. Now, first of all, I have to say that most of my comments are negative, and that's because I'm focusing on that. It's more important to me to focus on that than compliment everything that I like about the game. So, one thing I want to talk about the main character. Uh, he's he's interesting. I mean, first of all, you kind of you kind of portrayed him as a bitch to a certain extent, and it's unjustified because of the game's lack of serious tone. So, you gotta really think about his character a little bit more and try to develop him. I was thinking something along the lines of, since he's a reluctant hero, kind of push him towards that the the more middle class pseudo gangster not really so but he would probably be a criminal if he had to be a criminal he's low class he he doesn't he tries not to steal but he might have to something where he's borderline chaotic good to a certain extent and then he slowly gets better over time something a little bit more interesting like i said you, put, you portray him a bit a, a bit too much uh, you you portray him too much of a you, of a drama whore, and you gotta fix that to a certain extent. I'm not too sure how to how to fix that as your character, but the best way you could probably do that is be a bit more subtle about how you how how you portray his uh, how he doesn't like certain aspects of what he's doing. I, he I know he's being forced into doing all this stuff. Which in and of itself was kind of unrealistic, but it's like all other RPG heroes in these types of games do it rather well, and a lot of characters break the fourth wall, so it's just kind of weird how he's in his own little world, doing his own little thing, being all emotional about stuff, and how characters apparently think he can go through the mines alone, which is a little bit weird, and then she has the balls to say he, she, she cares about him which did come out of nowhere to a certain extent. I don't know, the, to the overall feeling of this game, the, the storyline is kind of odd. Like I said, you, you're, you're not a bad writer, definitely not. Uh, you just gotta, you just gotta really uh, craft the story and, you know, refine it. There we go. Sorry, I, I am getting kind of tired at this point. But how long did I fly? Two hours, two forty. Not bad, I guess. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything too important. Will I be following this game? Of course, I'll be following this game. But <sighs> definitely, a lot of things you got to be working on. I was expecting the demo to be a bit more refined, based on what I found and how it was written. You really did a good job at portraying the demo and portraying the game as if, as very professional for an RPG Maker project, and then when I started playing, it kind of devolved into a actual obvious beta. And that's okay, it's alpha, but I'm going to judge this like I'm going to judge every game on my, on my YouTube, and I want to be fair. So, yeah, storyline, well there you go. Gotta, gotta find a good balance between funny and serious, and no melodrama. I don't want I, I don't want my kid I don't want my little kid and hero being all emo on me. No, no, please. Gameplay. Let's talk about that a little bit. You're not bad with designing bosses. You know a, quite a few interesting tricks with RPG Maker. I can say. But you're going to have to look into that animation speed up. Trust me, it will make our game a lot better. It always does. And. 
that's my major problem. The battles were going by a little bit too slow, and that will probably fix most of it. Try to add a little bit more dialogue that flows with the battle. So if the battle proceeds for long enough, may, case in point, the, the big bellied orc dude or whatever, he he kept he kept repeating the same thing over and over again because the battle was taking forever. So it's like, all right, that's cool, but add some more dialogue, do whatever you can so it isn't so repetitive, or just make him stop repeating the same thing over and over again. But use his wishes. I really love the Libra spell; has a whole lot of uh, interesting potential. Also, consider phases. Uh, by phases, I mean basically. Uh, well, this is kind of obvious. When the when the enemy's HP goes goes to a certain percentage, it starts. Well, maybe give it some extra dialogue, and then it starts with different abilities, and then maybe whatever her name is that used the Libra spell says that she probably should use it again because his whatever changed, or she sensed his strategy changed, something of that sort. Make the strategy slowly change over the course of battle to keep it interesting. How can you make trash mobs more fun? Make them as quick as possible. Make the strategy and then make it so that if I exploit that strategy, they die almost instantly. Now, if I wasn't exploiting their strategy, and that's why I thought the battles were slow, were super slow for the, tr the trash mobs, other than the animations, I'm sorry. But that's usually how I do it. I, don't, I really don't like slow trash. I, I really don't. It's supposed to be quick, easy, and very fun to grind on, because I can kill them really quickly with a certain strategy. Or at that, least that's what I like to do. Most of my challenge comes in with the bosses. <sighs> the puzzle, that weird water puzzle. I didn't show it on camera, but I did show that map glitch. Not only a map glitch, but map mapping oddly, if you will. Okay, so you ha basically had to press these water pressures to unlock this waterfall. The problem is that I didn't know the combination. And there were like all these different ways to get it correct get it incorrect and I I didn't know how to how to do it it didn't make sense I don't know maybe it was just me being stupid but it was a weird puzzle yeah, that was the only puzzle in the game apparently early or, or maybe there was one I missed I don't really know and like I said I I never played D&D &D. sort of like how I never really I'm not a Final Fantasy fanboy, so I can't really understand a whole lot of concepts of Final Fantasy fan games. I I don't have a whole lot of knowledge on Dungeons and Dragons. I know you based a good amount of this on Dungeons and Dragons, and that's cool, but you're gonna have to make sure your RPG stands as a as a standalone. You know what I mean? So coming coming from this as a normal RPG maker. Player, comparing it to other RPG games and games I've reviewed on my show, I uh, I think this is a pretty good demo, but it's definitely a need for refinement, a lot of refinement. Anything else I can comment on? Oh yeah, the music. The music was really good. I mean, some tracks were a little odd, like the world map and the Kingdom Hearts song. Mainly the world map. I I don't know. I I, I didn't like how uh, over the top it was. When it calmed down like how it is right now, it's pretty good, but when that guitar starts coming in, meh, I don't really like that too much, but that's personal, I guess, and uh, I don't have any other real complaints about it. And graphics, okay, well, graphics, last thing I'll talk about. The graphics were okay, a mixture of RTP and custom, I, I know what your style looks like. And uh, honestly, I would just like to see your style alone, but that's okay. I, I know it's a bit of a, a stretch to ask that, so that's up to you. And so far, you're blended it pretty well. I mean, some of the characters are kind of bad. And by some, I mean that girl. That girl was ugly. That little girl with the pink hair. Ugh, what the hell was wrong with her? But yeah, all the beastmen were pretty good. I don't know if you edited any of the battlers. I know you're working on new battlers, though, so that's the thing. And, uh, yeah, I know some of them are not edited at all. I know you made some of the mapping, mapping, whatevers, and that's good. 
I definitely, I definitely liked exploring the game and doing what, doing what I can to complete it. Up to a certain point, of course. I mean, around now it was getting kind of tedious, but that was because most. That's partly because I'm getting tired, and partly because I kind of figured out all of the flaws in the game at this point. And since this is a demo, I'm not exactly that interested in going too far in it. Even though I probably would have if it, the game didn't crash on me, but whatever. I I would I, I am legitimately curious on what that wolf dude has as in terms in terms of his skill set, but whatever. I'm gonna miss what's his face and his healing abilities. Nah. But yeah, take what you will from this. I am but one reviewer slash let's player slash let's tryer, more of a let's tryer. I don't want to be a let's player anymore, guys. But I digress. I, I hope this helps to a certain extent. I know I'm a bit rambly, and that's just because I am. I don't know why. And uh, yeah, like I said, I am only one person. People will think different things about this game, and if they do, comment, talk about it, do all that jazz. Because I like hearing other opinions about games I review. I can always be wrong. I'm wrong all the time. Probably with a lot of the English mistakes. I don't really know. I know a lot of those are like the freaking what what do you call it? Alright, I remembered a lot. Yeah, that's definitely a typo. A space a lot. But anyways, enough with the gra love enough with me being a grammar Nazi, even though I have no right to be a grammar Nazi. Uh grab sauce bone Nazi, whatever. I enjoy I I kind of sort of enjoyed this game, and I definitely am looking forward to a finished concept of this, a finished demo, a full game, and whatnot. Definitely needs a lot of work, but you're doing a good job. I would love to hear other opinions on this game, of course. I would love to hear other opinions on any game I play, of course. I could always be wrong, and I know I will always be wrong. And when I'm wrong, I love to know when I'm wrong, so I can fix my mistakes and what have you. And stuff like that. Will I be following this project? I think I already said that. I will definitely be following this project. Because I, I usually follow every project, and uh, I kind of like the artwork in this game. And usually I, I find games with custom artwork to be games I follow more often than uh, than not. Because I just like I just like knowing artists in the RM community. Being a fellow artist myself and whatnot. Anyways, goodbye, good luck. I hope this helps. I am going to go to sleep. My next video will be in maybe a week or two. I don't know what it's going to be. I'm probably going to open up a commute, a form so people can request games on RMW, but we'll see. I know I I know I have I know I was thinking about making one for RMN, but we'll see. Anyway, goodbye.